Hello friends. In this video, we are going to study about what are the various losses in case of Fricke's induction motor and how to determine the efficiency. So the learning objectives for this video are losses and the efficiency. Now let us first study about the losses in the three-phase induction motor. What is a power loss? Now we know that in case of three-phase induction motor, first of all, it is an electromechanical conversion device. As it is a motor, our input will be electrical and at the output, we'll get the mechanical output. So we can say that three-phase induction motor converts the electrical energy to mechanical energy. But whenever there is the electromechanical conversion from one energy to another energy, there are always certain losses which are associated with the system. So what are these losses? So we can say that the power loss in the motor is nothing but some part of the input power which gets converted into heat and it does not contribute to driving the load. Or we can say that whenever we're giving the input to the motor, there are always certain losses which are associated when there is an electromechanical conversion in the motor. Now these losses, they do not contribute to the useful output which we get at the rotor soil and they are dissipated in the form of heat. The more the losses, the more will be the heat which is generated in the motor. So if we consider the three-phase induction motor, then these losses are divided into two categories. First is the fixed loss and second is the variable loss. Now from the name itself, you can say that fixed losses will be fixed at all the conditions, whereas variable losses will depend on certain parameters, so they are variable. So let us see these losses one by one. So first we are going to study about the fixed losses. So the fixed losses are the losses which are constant at all the motor condition. That is the condition from no load to full load, the losses do not change. The value of the losses always remains fixed. So these losses are called as fixed losses. Now, how can we determine these losses? So these losses can be determined by performing the no load test on motor. The no load test is very similar to the no load test which is performed on the transformer that is the open circuit test now transformer we are performing open circuit and short circuit test right this we have already studied in machine 2 so this no load test which you are performing on three phase induction motor in order to determine the fixed losses it is very similar to the open circuit test of the transformer now let us see which losses come under the category of fixed losses so the first is iron or core loss and second is mechanical friction loss. Now let us see these losses one by one. So first we are going to study about the iron or core loss. Now the iron loss or the core loss is mainly because of the voltage. So whatever voltage is given to the motor because of this magnetic field is produced or flux is produced and iron loss depend directly on the flux. So these losses are further divided into hysteresis loss and eddy current loss. Now, core loss mostly depend upon the frequency of the supply voltage. So, let us see what is the AD current loss. So, AD current loss is mostly produced due to the circulating current. This circulating current is called as AD current. So, the loss associated with these currents is called as AD current loss, which is produced in the core of the motor. So, how can we minimize the AD current loss? This I have already explained in the construction of induction motor. So, please refer that video in understanding how to minimize the eddy current loss. So these losses can be minimized by using the laminated core. Next is the hysteresis loss. So hysteresis loss can be minimized by using the high grade silicon steel. Now whatever material we are using while making the induction motor, this material play a very important role in the overall performance of the motor. The better material we use, the better will be the performance of the motor. So in order to reduce the hysteresis loss, we have to use the high grade silicon steel. Okay, so this was about the iron loss or core loss. Next is mechanical friction losses. We know that induction motor is a rotating machine. So whenever the rotor is rotating, there are certain mechanical losses which are associated with the rotation of the motor. So these are the friction and windage losses which are mainly caused by the power loss due to the friction of the bearing or air friction, which is called as windage loss and due to the moving parts of the motor. So 
these losses they are zero at the start because at start when we are giving the supply to the motor at that instant the rotor is not rotating so the losses are zero at the start but as the speed of the motor increases the rotor starts rotating the losses will go on increasing now we know that three phase induction motor is almost a constant speed motor as a result of this the friction and windage losses are constant because we can see that the losses increase with the speed so as the induction motor is a constant speed motor these losses are always constant only they are zero at the start but at the running condition the losses remain constant so we can say that the iron loss as well as mechanical loss are constant at all the conditions hence these are called as the constant losses now let's move forward so the next loss is the variable loss now variable losses are nothing but the copper losses which are given by the i square r formula so they depend upon the current so we can say that these are the losses which are caused when the current flows through the stator and rotor winding so what happens when the current flows through the stator and rotor winding so whenever the current flows it will get interacted with the winding resistance and winding reactance there will be heating effect so whenever the current will flow through the stator winding and rotor winding it will interact with the winding resistance and winding reactances so there will be the losses associated with it these losses are called as the copper losses and they depend on the flow of current now we also know that current keeps changing with the load as the load increases current increases as the load decreases the current decreases and as the copper loss is dependent on the value of current these losses will also keep changing along with the variation of the load that is why the copper losses are called as the variable losses now these losses can be determined by performing the block rotor test this block rotor test and no load test we are going to cover in the coming videos or next videos now next loss is trail load loss now from all these losses there is one loss which still remains that loss is called as trail load loss so this is the residual loss in the motor which is very difficult to determine by the calculation or the measurement now let us see what are certain factors which affect the strain load loss so these factors are winding design then the ratio of the air gap length to the rotor slot opening and next we have air gap flux density so these are the certain factors which affect the strain load losses but generally it is assumed that strain load losses are 10% of the total losses so in this way we have studied what are the various losses now let us study what is the efficiency of three phase induction motor now we already know that efficiency is nothing but the it is the ratio of output to input so efficiency is given by formula output divided by input multiplied by 100 now if we consider the small motors which are having very low ratings then the efficiency of these motors can be directly determined by loading the motor we have to measure the input we have to measure the output if we take the ratio we will get the value of efficiency but if we go for the larger motors then this is very difficult to do that is direct loading test why because there is very difficulty in arranging the load for the motor also as we are going to determine the efficiency the total output of the motor will be nothing but the loss so the loss for the loading is very huge so what we have to do is we have to perform certain indirect methods in order to determine the efficiency of the three phase induction motor so we have to conduct the following test first is no load test which will give us the value of the constant losses and second is the block rotor test which will give us the value of the variable losses as we know if we subtract the losses from the input we get the output then we take the ratio of output to input we can find the efficiency so in this way we can determine the efficiency of three phase induction motor so in this video we have studied what are the various losses these are nothing but fixed loss variable loss and strain load loss then we have seen which test can be conducted in order to determine these losses and then we have studied how to calculate the efficiency or how to determine the efficiency of three phase induction motor thank you